my house looks so different because they cut off all our trees everywhere just looks so freaking exposed they even fell like the car park thing while they were trying to um fall down the trees but you guys i am so flipping tired i don't think i've ever been this tired like in my life i slept throughout the flight i slept throughout at the airport like i've just been sleeping <laughs> and honestly i don't know if i'm about to fall sick or if i'm pregnant <laughs> If I'm pregnant, then that means it's immaculate conception because I don't know where Belle entered from. <laughs> Look at her village girl with your bob hair plucking your lost. avocados. But well, look, oh, this tree makes like the biggest avocados, you guys. When avocados are in season, we always just have avocados on the counter in the kitchen. Every time you make fun of me that I'm short, and now you can't even grab that simple right, thing. Can you grab it? Yes, I can. Oh, yeah, come and grab it. <laughs> she got them <laughs> mommy's calling good morning you guys so today's the day after i got to benin just got to the morgue the mortuary um so there's something they need to do for my grandmother apparently when she had my uncle which is like her last child they did some kind of traditional procedure to kind of like flip her womb so she wouldn't be able to um have a baby again i'm not really sure what the procedure was but um apparently my grandmom told them that when she passes they have to undo it before they bury her i don't know you guys traditional stuff sha, so that when she <laughs> reincarnates or something the person doesn't have a problem having children i don't know that's what she said my mom just feels like they should honor her and they asked my mom if she would have anybody that can actually come and witness the procedure um and confirm that they did it so obviously they picked me because i'm the only doctor in the family that's around right now so i'm here to do that i haven't seen my grandmother's body since she passed and i really don't know how i'm about to react to this but yeah, let me go. The man is waiting for me. Good morning. Good morning. Are you Mr. Uye? Yes, ma'am. Oh, good morning. Ah, you look, you look mommy. Who did that see? I do. Uh -huh. <laughs> that, that. That's what people that's say. That's how she, she do, mother. <laughs> Why not? They can't bury her with her hair. Okay. 
Like the I'm the grandchild, no problem. <laughs> Can I see her face? I can yes, just open it. Okay. Oof, that was a lot. The smell of the formalin was very, very strong, you guys, but um they did the procedure or whatever and then they just like sutured her body back. I'm about to run some errands for my mom now. I need to go pick up her wig from somebody. I don't even know where I'm going honestly. I'm actually like I know Benin so well. But she described it to me and yeah, I'm somewhere off Ihama. I'm gonna go pick it up for her now. So let's go. It's okay, is that my mom's way? I do. Oh, everybody's saying that. Okay. So let me just take it. All right, no problem. From here, I'm gonna go buy something at this store that's not too far from here. It's like a cosmetic store, and there's some things I need that I couldn't get from Abuja. So yeah, as long as I don't taking pictures of the hair, they in prep for my mom. I'll just go there and grab my stuff. Then find a way to like go link up with them. Okay, thank you. What, what color of gel did you use? But they dyed Black. your hair. They didn't dye my hair. It looks really nice. Everybody's doing. Are you going to do your own next? Yeah. <laughs> okay. The process of the okuku making. This is my beautiful auntie. Yeah. <laughs> it it looks so gorgeous. Down. This is Edo culture. Yeah. Yes. Edo Odion, right? Yes. I'm afraid that Edo Odion. Come on. <laughs> Edo Odion, that's right. Yes, uh, <laughs> my beautiful cousin. Everybody's doing okuku. I'm feeling left out. Ah, your okuku is very fine, though. Know? Like, your own is not the finest. Good evening. Well done. Hello, love. I don't think so. We're in Abuja, right? Yes, I'm in Abuja. Are you serious? Oh, it's been such a long time. <laughs> this one is so big, man. Two people gifted you cows. Three people. So one person brought you two cows. Another person brought one. Another person brought one. That's four. Then how many did you buy on your own? One that very big one. How are you? Hi. Oh, your hair is so pretty. Oh, you're turn around. Let me see the back. Ooh. Oh, you're turn again. Ooh, do you like your hair? Yes. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Say cheese. Cheese. Answer now. Say cheese. Cheese. <laughs> day one. <laughs> Good morning, guys. It is day one of four of the funeral. I just got to the mortuary. I don't know if you guys can see. My brother's here. Say hi, Henry. <laughs> I just got to the mortuary. This is where we're in. When I get down, I'll show you guys. But yeah, today is the one of the funeral. And we're basically going to pick my grandmother's body up. And then we're going to take it to her house for like the line and state. So I'm going to try to take you guys along as much as possible. So you can see what like a typical burial or like funeral goes like. Or what, you, like, I don't, what am I saying? Should I, I want to take you guys along so you can understand what like the burial process um looks like in nigeria because i feel like it's very different from everywhere else in the world 
especially because the 4d burial i think some people even do longer but yeah let me get out of this guy's getting hot hi mommy hi lolly <laughs> why are you wearing these glasses mm -hmm. you don't like it <laughs> see oh cuckoo <laughs> yeah, you are going to do your very soon yes yeah. my mom says she feels bad that mm. i'm the only person that didn't do oh cuckoo yeah. so every other grandchild everybody <laughs> why even did... two year old they did okay ma i've heard you so we're gonna bust it oh we look nice mm -hmm. say hi hi how do you feel i feel sad Mm, but you go really, away. really sad, honestly. You'll be fine. I'm don't sad. Worry. I'm sad. It's my mother we're talking about. You'll be fine. Mm. See my, my mother's friend. Feeling oh, like. Oh, yeah, oh, you're dead body. Oh, you're dead body. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Yes, oh. No, no, no. Come, come here. Okay. We'll just put milk on top then. Oh, milk? Just, just a little bit. It won't peel off. Don't worry. Okay. You'll be okay. It's okay. That's the only way you do it. I didn't know you could use milk. Oh, yeah. It works. And uh, if you two put it, uh, then you have problem taking it out. Taking it off. Okay. Uh, yes. But it will come out. It won't peel the paint. Okay. But... Okay. Record me. <laughs> Who knew that milk could stick something to a car? <laughs> Anyways, I don't did it. Why are you just coming? People have not even come. I'm Why not are you just coming? My car did not size me. No, we only size you. Made the shorter, right? It's not mine. I had Hold to on. exchange it to size okay. My own did not size me. Oh, it looks good though. Ah. EA is grandchildren. How are you people? Hi. Grandchildren of the EA. Yeah, hey, everybody introduce yourself. What's your name? Mavena, what's your name? Angel. Angel. Come on. Navina. Navina, come on. Oh yeah. Big boy. What's your name? Come on. My name is Osafe. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Who has not introduced themselves? Oh yeah. Angel. Come on, Angel. Oh, yeah, everybody say hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just more fair after that, okay, that's it. God that never never change. The God that never never fail. My God, we cannot question you. At all. We cannot we cannot. Say, Papa, thank you for everything. Thank you, Jesus. Papa, we see my now. Oh, my God, God, no. Then, hey, you cannot be your God, God, you are not ever. Yes. Papa, now, God, you have a little change. Amen. No. Go. <laughs>
You guys i just got home just excuse where i am this is the best place with lighting right now so i did my okoko and this one is really simple it's not really the type you do when you're getting married it's just like a simple one for barrels initially didn't want to do it but one of my mom's friends was telling me yesterday that it's actually like um paying respect to the person who has died and she was saying that it's compulsory for um children grandchildren wives you know things like that basically all the females in the family and i don't know if she was whining me but i kind of noticed my mom was like feeling somehow because her sister's daughter did um some of her brother's children did like a bunch of people did theirs and i was feeling like maybe she's feeling like oh only her children didn't do because my sister didn't do either so i asked her like last night was she feeling weird or was it today i asked her i don't remember sure but i asked her like oh was she feeling weird that i didn't do mine and she said yes and i was like okay don't worry i'll do it because of you so yeah that's my cool you guys i am so flipping tired today was very stressful you guys saw the amount of people that turned up at my grandmother's place they were so many like it was ridiculous we we're trying to feed give drinks i had to be sharing palm wine at some point and people were just dragging me from different corners like see it's been a lot i have a really really bad headache so today is actually the line in state so my grandma is in the living room of her house and she's gonna sleep over well she's dead so not sleep but the body is gonna sleep over in the house overnight till tomorrow and then tomorrow we're gonna put her in the ground so that's how we do in nigeria or in my culture at least <laughs> from what i know um on one day you bring the body back to the house where they used to live and then that night they have to sleep over in the house so the entire living room area is like arranged for her coffin and everything and the coffin is just sitting down there and all of my mom's like family like extended family the older people in the family they are literally all sitting around the casket and they've all been eating and drinking like that's just the culture you guys anyways i'm gonna rest at home for a bit pack up my stuff and i'm gonna go back to my grandma's because tonight is like what they call the wake keeping so most people stay awake like overnight drinking playing music just having fun and everything and since all of my cousins are still over there i'm gonna go back but i just had to come home grab my stuff because i didn't leave with anything uh, my sister is still there as well she wants some things so i'm gonna grab her things for her as well but before that i think i'm actually just gonna sit down and rest for like a little bit um and then i'll just pack my stuff and start driving back before it gets late so <laughs> stay in one place <laughs> Oh, OTV for this. So video, yeah. Yeah? It's video, isn't it? Yes, right? 
it is day two you guys i ended up not going to my grandma's yesterday anymore don't even ask me why but my brother and i are ready we just finished taking some pictures and you know stuff like that we're about to quickly leave the house so we can get there on time um today is the service of songs and the internment so they're gonna have like a quick little church service and i'm taking one of the readings and then after that we're gonna bury my grandma put her in the ground and everything so let's head over there Hey, do girl, say hi. Hi. <laughs> My name is Serena Idago, reading on behalf of Mr. Wilson. Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Good evening, everyone. The fourth lesson, I'll be reading from 1 Corinthians 15, verse 51 to 58. That your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Amen. Thank you. I want to raise against their papa that we condemn them now. In the name of Jesus Christ. days i'm so flipping tired like i can't even believe i'm awake <sighs> i can't even believe i'm vlogging like this i look crazy but we move so today is day three <laughs> this is day three of the funeral and it's like the main party day i'm here with my sister she doesn't look good she doesn't want to be seen but i'm gonna show her <laughs> i'm here with my sister well, at my taylor's place she isn't even here yet but we came to get our clothes for today i haven't picked mine up yet as i was saying today is day three of the funeral and today is what they call the what they call it like the dance or a social dance or like a party so basically we have a whole like open space booked there are going to be canopies food everything and people are just going to come and dance and eat and have a nice time i'm honestly not sure why funerals or like burials in nigeria take so much to do it's so freaking stressful see yesterday i had a horrible day I didn't get home till like maybe 12 a.m and i had to drag my mom home because the stress that she was going through was just unbelievable like i had to take her home i was like nah it's becoming too much you need to leave if you can see behind me those are all the souvenir bags that they just packed this morning with the gifts and everything so yeah we're gonna give our gifts and yeah i'm never looking forward to that we're all so stressed ha huh. i can't i'm gonna go back to abuja so drained and so tired <laughs> I just can't wait for this burial to be over honestly i just hope like the tailor comes soon so we can grab our clothes and go back home because the party thing starts around like 12 ish but i don't think we're gonna get there to like maybe one two since we're the ones organizing and we we'll obviously have other things to do at home cooking is still going on at my grandma's house so they're cooking everything and preparing everything from there and then somehow all the caterers will transfer it to the venue so yeah drinks and all of that you guys a madness honestly my head is buzzing from not resting enough i'm just about to sit in this car and wait for this woman to come hopefully she comes soon and hopefully my dress fits <laughs> it's it's back. Back. we're at the venue now we left my grandma's house um, I've picked up my stuff from the tailor, like my dress. And then we have some things we need to come like give to them, like banners for the oh, photo booth. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> banners for the photo booth. Um, and then some turkey as well is in the car. Just need to find the people that need to collect it from me. I'm so freaking sleepy. I'm behind you, girl.
this makeup was rushed you guys we literally just got here we're very late i just want to get inside and try and help my mom set up as best as i can we had some issues with the dress before the tailor like amended it by the time we got home they had left us and forgot the key we had to drive back out today has been a madness and i'm already sweating out my makeup you guys i'm just getting here super late but we moved i don't really like this dress but it's gonna have to just I wish there was one day that I would actually be able to come for this burial and be like a guest but it seems like it's never going to happen so flipping happy that this whole burial thing has come to an end i'm so tired you guys have no idea i feel like i'm falling sick i'm not well my stomach is actually bugging me i don't know what i ate i'm just so tired this is my fit yesterday i didn't even have the time to show you my full outfit because of how busy i got my makeup was a mess i was on the floor picking money for my mom trying to organize food and everything you guys I didn't realize that burials are distressful. Anyways, today is um, Thanksgiving in church. So it's day four. It's the final day. We're going to do Thanksgiving in church. And then we're going to have like a very light reception at my grandma's house after. I'm about to head out to church now. I'm actually late. Everyone has left the house. I'm the last to leave. But I don't care. I honestly want to get there when the service is almost done. Because I'm very, very tired and very sleepy. So yeah, let's go. <laughs> Mary, say hi. Oh, yeah. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Bye, people. See y'all in the booth. You guys, Benin is so hot. My lace keeps lifting. I just dropped my dad and my siblings off at the airport. They're actually leaving today. Anyways, I just took my dad's car. I'm leaving. My job was only to be a driver. I just dropped them. I'm heading back to my grandma's. My trip and i am so flipping tired but i'm so grateful for everything honestly so if you cannot tell i have lost my voice you guys because this barrel stress sharing food and dragging with people it was honestly a lot 
I'm still very much tired from like before I traveled. If you guys remember, everything was sort of like a rush for me with my birthday and then traveling. I'm just really tired. And then the worst part for me is that I'm on call tomorrow and it's like maybe past seven now. I'm just getting home. This flight, I actually booked it for like the first flight of the day. It was supposed to be by eight something in the morning, but airpiece, they moved it all the way till 3.40 p.m. And we still didn't leave Benin until like past four, almost 5 p.m. So yeah, I'm just getting home now. I absolutely hate that this happened because if I had landed earlier, I'd have been able to like prep myself, sort myself off for work tomorrow. But now I don't even know how I'm about to start. And unlike me, I typically like to have my room arranged and everything before I travel. But this time I wasn't able to do much. Like my room is not in the best shape. I mean, it's not dirty, but like it's not as clean as I would love it to be. So I'm just a bit bummed, but it's all good, you guys. I'm so happy that I was able to go to Benin for my grandma's funeral. I'm so happy that I got to see my mom, spend time with my family, see everybody. I'm just so, so grateful. I pray my grandma's sweet, sweet soul continues to rest in peace because she was such an amazing woman. Like, honestly, wish you guys knew her personally. All of the people that turned up were because of how amazing a person she was. She was very, very generous. Like, so many people were fighting because of food because when my grandmother was alive, she would cook, like, in her house and she would call, like, the whole street to come and eat and she would literally feed everyone and make sure that they were full. So, a lot of people at the event, you guys know how food doesn't go around and stuff. They were like, ah, how can they not be eating at her barrel because even when she was alive they were eating you know anyways you guys i am so flipping tired and i don't have a voice i should not be vlogging <laughs> i'm going to end the vlog right here really hope you guys have enjoyed coming along on this journey i've been updating my instagram fam and they've really been enjoying the burial content so if you don't follow me on instagram this is your sign to follow me on instagram because things actually go on instagram before they get on youtube so you know get with the program if you're yet to subscribe please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like share and leave me a comment down below thank you so much for watching guys i love you guys so so much thank you for all of the support and ignore my cracked voice once more i will see you guys in my next vlog bye <laughs>